Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. So today I'm so excited because I get to review for you guys the Marc Jacobs 2018 Holiday Collection. If you're interested in hearing my thoughts on it, then just keep watching. <clears throat> so as of right now, for their holiday collection, they have a highlighter, six cream glitter eyeshadows, and a lip gloss. I'm not sure if they're going to expand on that, but as of now, that is what they do have. From September 20th to the 24th, if you are a VIB Rouge member, you can get this online or on their app. It is not available in stores yet, so after the 24th, you can pick up this collection, but for now, only VIB Rouge members can order it online. So I'm going to give you guys a quick overview of the collection and the products, and then we're going to get into the products individually. So first we're going to talk about the Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer. This is in the shade Guilty. It is $49 and it is limited edition. So the packaging real quick is this very reflective golden lid and a white bottom. It's really slim, sleek packaging. You're going to open it up and it reveals a huge mirror and then of course a huge whopping highlighter. It is ginormous. Now like I said this is the shade Guilty and it is described as a warm peachy gold and when I swatched it on my skin it definitely pulled very peach on my skin and I was a little scared looking at the swatch because I was like I don't know how this is going to look on my face. So of course I had to give it a try on my face and as you can see there's no cast on my face and it just is a beautiful golden highlight. So it definitely pulled much more peach when I swatched it on my skin but on my actual face it is very golden and beautiful and it definitely works for my light medium skin tone now this highlighter is $49 which is very expensive but you do get quite a large amount of product and they do encourage that you use this all over your body and I did put it all over my decollete when I was playing with it and it really is this beautiful warm golden color all over my body and I do have to say I like this better all over my body than on my face personally just because my body is a bit of a warmer complexion than my face. This formula is absolutely beautiful though. It's a very smooth formula. It does not have any glitter in it. It's just a shimmer highlighter and it looks beautiful on my skin. It doesn't emphasize any texture that I'm aware of and it's very glossy looking on my skin. I think this is a beautiful formula for a highlighter. I think a lot of women are going to like this formula. Of course, I do think this color is more suitable for medium to deep skin tones. I honestly think this is going to look absolutely stunning if you are in those shade ranges. As a person with a light medium skin tone, I do really like it, so don't stray away from it if you do have a light complexion because it definitely does work on me. I just think it's going to look gorgeous on medium to deep skin tones. If you do have a fair skin tone, I probably wouldn't get this if I were you. I do think it's a little bit too golden and deep, but luckily on my light complexion, it does look very good still. But like I said, medium to deep skin tone girls, you are going to to love this and this also looks really great on the body so I'm giving this product a 9 out of 10 and only a 9 just because it doesn't personally work as amazing for my skin tone as it would as somebody with a medium complexion but that's a personal problem moving on I'm going into the sequins glam glitter eyeshadow now I love glitter eyeshadow so I was so pumped about this there are six shades I did only pick up four because they are $28 a pop but they are so beautiful so packaging wise it comes in a cute little pot with the golden lid that is the holiday collection theme absolutely stunning and then you open it up and it actually has this little cover over here you want to keep that because it's going to keep the product pressed into the pan and it's also going to help it not dry out pull it up and of course it reveals the beautiful shimmer product now the four shades i picked up in order on my arm are flashlight which is an icy opal gleam girl a champagne beige glamethyst which is a sparkling amethyst color and then taupe has flash which is a smoky bronze they also do offer a copper color and an icy black but i just i don't know i just didn't think i needed those not that i needed these either so the consistency of these is different than a lot of the other cream glitter eyeshadow products that i've tried immediately what it reminded me of was the hour Glass scattered light glitter eyeshadows however the difference is the hourglass is a little bit more creamier and these actually have almost a chunky powder finish so you kind of do have to rub it into your skin to get it to stick because when you swatch the Marc Jacobs you will immediately notice 
that it is a little bit more powdery and not as firmly pressed, whereas the Hourglass does have a bit of a creamier consistency. The Hourglass also has a strong shimmer to it, whereas this one is a little chunkier in that it has chunkier glitters in it. So the glitters on your eye are much more noticeable when you wear the Marc Jacobs, whereas this is just a really pretty shimmer with a finer glitter in it. The glitter in this guy is a little bit chunkier. And when I say chunky, I don't mean that in a negative sense. It's actually just a different finish on your eyes, and I think this is a little bit more wabam than the Hourglass. The only one of the four that I'm not too sure about is the shade Flashlight, and that is because it is kind of the most chunky. I just feel like it's a little bit too chunky. I'm gonna swatch right here for you. So as you can see, it does kind of chunk up a little bit, so you really have to blend that out. You know, this really reminds me of the new Fenty highlighter that just came out. You're definitely gonna have to feel it for yourself because it's difficult to explain, but when I swatch it, it doesn't swatch very pretty unless you blend it out. It just looks very chunky and uneven in a swatch, but you really have to blend it out. And I think that's what they're going for all over the lid, but it can get a little bit messy. On my eyelid right now, I have the shade Gleam Girl all over my eyelid. This is so stunning. I just used my finger and I patted it on. Make sure you pat it on in a pressing motion just because these aren't very firmly pressed so you have to press it into your eye to avoid fallout but this is gorgeous all over the lid I think this is going to be one of the most popular colors because it's stunning and then I did use the shade flashlight in my inner corner I use it with a brush these don't really apply too great with a brush but because I did want to do detail work with this it applied fine as an inner corner highlight but I definitely would recommend applying this with the finger all in all this is a beautiful formula I've been wearing this for a few hours I don't notice any creasing in my eyes shadow always creases on me for some reason. I didn't apply a sticky base underneath. I just kind of went for it. I'm having no fallout issues with this guy. I don't see any glitter down here. These are a really beautiful formula and they're very different. I'm not used to these types of products being so loosely pressed, but these are really nice and pretty and they're going to look great for the holidays. Oh, and by the way, these are limited edition. And that leads us to the final product that I have from this collection and it is the Enamored High Shine Lip Lacquer Lip Gloss Formula. And this is in the shade Shine A Light, which is a glitzy gold with pink shimmer. This particular shade is limited edition and it is $28. Of course, like the rest of the collection, it has a gold beautiful handle. It is that beautiful Marc Jacobs lip gloss formula. It is a shimmer finish. The sh pink shimmers in it are very visible both on the swatch and on my lips. This looks beautiful underneath a nude lipstick, which is what I'm wearing it with right now. Super comfortable on the lips, lasts a long time, really glossy. I really enjoy this lip gloss formula. Uh, it's probably not my favorite color ever, if I'm being honest, but that's just my own personal preference. Lately, I've not been so into shimmer glitter glosses, but I mean, this is really nice if you like colors like this. Great formula, if you love this formula really good product. Oh, by the way, 8 out of 10 for the lip gloss, 8 out of 10 also for the eye shadows. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my review of the Marc Jacobs Holiday Collection. This holiday collection is very glam feeling, very luxurious feeling. I love it. The packaging in this is so simple, but bougie. It's just plain bougie, honestly. Everything in this collection I've tried is really good. If you're into Marc Jacobs and you're into the glam, shiny, glittery, glowy look, you will love this collection. Anyways, let me know if you tried anything from this collection out or what you think. Thank you for tuning in to this review. I hope you guys subscribe for a lot more reviews and a lot more fun videos. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.